Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another episode of a series that I haven't uploaded in about two years. We are here with another What the Plum, and as you can see, my little tester simmies are out there looking at this monstrosity. This monstrosity is called Quaint Cottage. Now, I think I originally built it in Starlight Shores, but I'm not sure, so that's where I've placed it, and it's overlooking the beach. You can see the water in the back, and if you look at it on the face, it doesn't look that bad, but if you can kind of look through the window, I see some more bamboo or wicker wall coverings, so I don't know what I was thinking. Let's jump over to the forums really quick and see how many people downloaded this in their game. Hopefully, it was less than the Bohemian Beach Bungalow because this is just as bad, if not worse, than that build. And speaking of the Bohemian Beach Bungalow, um, when I did my renovation on that, which was the Driftwood, I'll pop it up in the right-hand corner if you guys haven't seen it as of yet. But when I did that, I asked if people wanted to do their own makeovers on the Bohemian Beach Bungalow. And if so, I would love to see what they had done. Um, so I had two people uh, work on the Bohemian Beach Bungalow and put their own spin on it. And so I'm gonna put their little screenshots up on the screen now for you guys to check out. The first one is Creative Metaphor. She's over on the forums and she's an amazing builder. And then the second one is Kezi Sims. And they did some really, really cute stuff with that. So it'll be the same thing for this one. I'm gonna have the original link to this shit tip <laughs> down in the description and you guys can renovate it if you want and then when the next episode of um what the plum comes out which is hopefully not two years from now i will put your renovations in the next video. Right, let's jump over to the forums. So here we are in my studio on the forums and unfortunately more people downloaded Quaint Cottage than the Bohemian Beach Bungalow. Um, I mean, that's lovely. Thank you guys so much. I uploaded this two days after I did Bohemian Beach Bungalow. I mean, I wonder if I built it in those two days. That's a really, really quick turnaround, but this build is almost from eight years ago. So let's check out the pictures. I wonder if I fooled people by the pictures. <laughs> Welcome to the quaint cottage, the perfect starter home for under 16.5K. This cottage has all the basic amenities that a sim starting out on their what i'm supposed i think that's meant to i think that's meant to say on their own can ask for quaint cottage is a one bedroom one bathroom abode which features a raised entry spacious dining kitchen dining area and even an outside fire pit oh my god and actually i think i do have it on the exact same lot that it was before um so these are the pictures as you can see scrolling through and i already know i'm gonna have a field day with this because i can see so many what the plum was I thinking? What the actual plum was I thinking? But thank you to the 447 people out there that downloaded this and the 79 recommendations. I really, really appreciate it. Let's jump back over to Quaint Cottage and let's do a little tour because this is gonna be bad. I can feel it in my bones. So the first thing I see is this fire pit that I mentioned in the description on the uh, forums. And how is anybody gonna sit at that fire pit? I, I don't know what I was intending thinking that, but oh look, I put a light there. How very nice of me. And the second thing that catches my eye is that wallpaper, you guys, why did I do this? But then look at this window. I mean, that is the most horrific trim I have ever seen. But then I chose not to like match it to this one. This is just the default window that comes with the game. Why? Why did I do this? Now, as you guys can kind of see, it's a split level house. I think it shows it better in the back. So let's go to the back before we mosey on inside. Yeah, so you can see that it's split level and I did this without the use of a foundation. I wouldn't recommend it because you've got this up here, these windows here, and then you've got these ones down here. Now, I think I was trying to be clever. I probably looked up some tutorial about how you split level without having to use foundation. It just looks horrible. What was I thinking? I'm so upset with myself. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I put this out here for 447 people to download. I mean, look at this wonky fence. I mean, I know the fence follows the terrain, but if your fence is going to be like this, I highly recommend avoiding using it. <laughs> right, I'm actually super scared to go inside. Um, wow. 
Look at this, this, this uh, fencing that I've used doesn't match this. You've got bushes sticking through fence things, which is kind of okay, I'm all right with this, but you've got these bushes sticking up through the deck. So I bet you anything, any money, that they're sticking through on the inside. And speaking of stick on, do these bricks that I've used outside not look like peel and stick? Because for some reason, I made the decision not to follow the brick around and it just looks so bad. This, this is like the peel and stick brick that you would stick inside of your home to give it like a brick look. That's what I did on the outside of this home. That's what it looks like to me. This is just really, really, really freaking bad. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I mean, Quinn Miller looks ashamed. I'm ashamed too, Quinn. I'm so ashamed. And old Eric Miller over here looks like he's trying to envision how to fix this. Good lord. Right, let's go inside. I'm scared. I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's the bushes sticking inside the walls. But that's not even my main concern. Look at all this freaking wicker, you guys. I've got a wicker rug. I've got like a wicker chair rail, massive chair rail. I've got wicker photo frames. Oh, I, I'm actually speechless. I'm actually, oh, I've got wicker footings on the sofa or on the armchair. Is it on the sofa too? Did I do it on the, oh my God, I did it on the sofa, you guys. This is like the wicker house from hell. Look at this vase, it's wicker. <gasps> Why? I, I, I'm literally dumbfounded. And I mean, who sits this close to a television? Whoever lives here is gonna go freaking cross-eyed. Why would you sit that close? Oh my God, I'm actually really scared to check out the rest of the house. I still can't get over the fact that I chose this for the, the window framings. So you've, you've got, is that leather? Have I gone for wicker and leather? And then it transitions over to whatever the hell that covering is. But you guys can see because of the way that I split leveled the house, I mean, it's gone from a chair rail into like some sort of, I don't know what you would call that backsplash but the backsplash continues all the way into the dining room. Oh, the floors are wicker, you guys. I use wicker floors in this house and the chairs match the window frames. Oh my God. <laughs> the trash can is wicker. It's got a wicker top. You guys, the countertops. The countertops are wicker. I'm sure that's a fire hazard. It's gotta be a fire hazard and oh my God. I used the default cabinets. I did not recolor the cabinets. Now, me now, I would never do that. Whenever I go to build a house, I usually use Creative Style on everything. So maybe I hadn't discovered, obviously I had discovered Creative Style because I've got wicker freaking floors and wicker countertops. Oh my God. <laughs> but don't worry, if anything catches on fire, I've placed a fire alarm. Holy shit, this is so bad. Like, the hutch matches the windows, the chairs match the windows. I've got a wicker dining table. This is just, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been rendered speechless because that is how bad it is. I mean, look, there's another wicker fo photo frame. Okay, I'm almost scared to go into this bedroom, but let's like cut away the walls. Okay, another thing. Right, my mind's blown here. I've got how many different like colors of flooring in here? I've got these orange ones, I've got the wicker ones, and the one behind us, that's to the living room, is red. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why am I like this? Oh my god, look at the bed frame. The bed frame matches the window, which matches the, the side tables. And I mean, this window doesn't match. Why does that window not match? But then it also matches the dresser. And look at the wallpaper that I chose. Oh my God, this is honestly horrific. Uh, this is this is hands down, it's gotta be worse than the Bohemian Beach Bungalow. I mean, look at these color choices, lime green. Why did I use such bright colors? I don't understand myself right now. And oh look, is that more wi wicker? There's more wicker. I should have called this the wicker cabin or the wicker, wicker cottage. But why, why is this so loud of a bedspread? Like this is not a relaxing bedroom whatsoever. 
I li I, I literally don't even know what to say. Like I'm stumbling over my words because this is so freaking bad. This is definitely what the plum, the entire thing. I'm so excited that I'm gonna be renovating this because it's awful. Let's see what's going on <laughs> in the bathroom. So I think because I wanted this to be a starter home, I used the zero simoleon wood flooring, but then I decided to put a tile pattern over it and then match it to the walls. Don't ever do this guys like please don't I I literally I mean the only thing that I can say is what the f like this is not a what the plum this is what the f what was I thinking I don't I I don't know I don't even know but anyway I'm gonna try to work some magic and fix this thing because it needs a whole hell of a lot of fixing and like I said oh my god what is going on <gasps> oh my god I think do you see this right hold on do you see how that goes like that? I bet the doors don't even work in this place. I bet I didn't even play test it. So because I used constrained floor elevation in order to make the split level, I think I screwed up the walls. So you probably can't even get into this disgusting bedroom or the bathroom. I am so sorry to the people who downloaded this. Oh, that's bad. This is horrible. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to try to work some magic on this. Again, I'll have the original link to the house in my studio if you guys want to download it and try to work some magic on this as well. I'm sure anything that you come up with will be 10 times better than what I did almost eight years ago. But let's get to fixing. What the freaking plum. Quaint Cottage is about to be no more and I'm gonna turn this into Stone Cottage. Yes, that is what I named it. And thinking about it, after I finish this, it probably doesn't fit in Starlight Shores anymore. Probably the best world would be something like maybe Hidden Springs or Midnight, not Midnight Hollows, um, Moonlight Falls. This would fit really well in Moonlight Falls. So what I said about this series when I first started it was that some of these renovations were going to be complete gut jobs and some of them were going to be renovations. Now so far between Bohemian Beach Bungalow and Quaint Cottage, I would say those are both gut jobs because this was just horrific and you can see that the new shape is finally taking place I'm gonna faff about with the roof for quite some time I actually cut out a lot of footage of me messing with the roof because I couldn't get it right it didn't look good and I just wanted to make this the cutest little cottage that there ever was and I really love how it turned out I know I know I always say that about my builds you guys are probably tired of me saying it but it does look really really cute and you guys might be surprised to know that I didn't use a lot of dark colors. Well, I don't think dark colors really fit well in a cottage, the type of cottage that I was going for. So I used a lot of light colors. It's light, it's bright, it's flowy, it's cozy, it's beautiful. And I'm just happy as a plum with how it turned out. So I use these columns that are from um, World Adventures and I think those windows upstairs are from World Adventures as well. And I don't think I've ever used those columns on a house, but they fit really well with the style that I was going for. Now let's talk about this chimney for a second because that chimney is there just because it looks good it's so it's for aesthetic purposes only uh, the 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 fireplace that I end up putting in the house doesn't match up with the chimney so we're just gonna go with the fact that maybe whoever renovated this house uh, decided that they'd keep the chimney but they put in an electric insert or a gas fireplace and it doesn't flow through the chimney so that's what we're going to imagine as we're seeing the chimney in that spot because it definitely definitely doesn't line up don't come for me in the comments over this <laughs> But I lowered it a little bit uh, because it was just sticking up way too far and it didn't make sense to be as tall as it was, especially with the height of the roof. So I wanted to make it match a little bit better and I think I may have even lowered it yet again, but I did that off camera. I did a lot of things off camera with this because I was just getting really frustrated with the roof line, with the chimney height, and some things weren't stacking up. So I had to just go away, come back and redo it off camera so that I didn't rage quit because you know sometimes rage quitting can happen in The Sims and another thing that I cut out quite a bit of was me trying to place these flipping stairs let me tell you I struggled like nobody's business I probably had 10 minutes of footage
footage of me trying to place the stairs and because it dips down a little bit for some reason this lot isn't flat well not for some reason i mean you saw the monstrosity that was quaint cottage before where everything was just sort of split leveled and ugly looking and really really kooky so it made sense that the lot wasn't very flat now another thing about this lot originally i built it on a 20 by 20 lot and i think i placed down a 20 by 25 lot i think that's what this is so you're gonna need at least a 20 by 25 lot in order to place this house down anywhere or you can place it on a bigger lot of course so i'm just going through and recoloring the outside and that's pretty much the outside i'm gonna place a few things down uh, like some trees and of course some buckthorns somebody somebody commented on one of my other videos that i've been saying buckhorns for i don't know how long but they're actually buckthorns so thank you to whoever pointed that out because I was way way wrong on that one um, So of course there's gonna be some buckthorns and then I wanted to match the trees that were in Starlight Shores But again, I don't think this build fits in this world I mean you could place it here if you can find where I place this lot. I have no idea I think it's like 112 Fox Hill Drive or something like that um, that rings a bell to me, but I've evened out the terrain a little bit and it made sense for me to slope the whole thing. So I didn't want I didn't want to split level this because that split level idea that I had eight years ago was just ridiculous. So I decided to raise the entire terrain so it's kind of built on a hill. This reminds me a lot of the coach house and the carriage house. I think I built one of those for my channel so I'll link that up in the right hand corner if you guys want to check out that build. But um, this is very similar with how it's on a little bit of a hill. You've got to walk up some steps to get inside so i'm just doing some terrain painting here and then uh the trees are already set down and here come the buckthorns not buckhorns um and that's all i really did for the landscaping i didn't do the landscaping in the back on camera because it's very similar but you'll see it when i do the decking out out back and when i decorate the the deck you'll see the landscaping that i did but it's not a lot I actually toned it down quite a bit and there's a lot of green space on here so I'm quite proud of myself for the amount of green space that I left for you guys to see because usually I like to cover everything because for some reason having too much green space makes me really 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 uncomfortable so this is it now one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys actually I'll wait I will wait until we get to the bright moment to tell you guys what I want to tell you because I've got some surprises in this uh, video for you guys and I will tell you about them when the appropriate time comes but what am I doing now just recoloring the mailbox and then I'm gonna do the layout inside so you saw that I added some extra walls and that's why I say this is more of a gut job than a renovation um, but I guess it could still class as a renovation because I didn't tear the sucker down I mean I could have easily torn this thing down because it was that bad and don't know what I was thinking almost eight years ago when I built this and thinking oh yeah this looks good I'm gonna share this with the millions and millions of simmers that are out there and hope that some people download it and 447 people did download it and you know I really really appreciate that but holy hell was that bad anyway um i didn't use the yellow flooring that i usually or that i've been using as of late in all of my houses i went with a different kind of wood flooring and then i put down some tiling for the kitchen now this isn't the normal way that i would decorate a house um i usually would go room by room but you can see at the moment that i'm turning all the walls white i'm laying down some like really basic floor tiles and um some carpeting in the bedrooms now the reason for this this is like surprise number one for you guys is that I also have put in the description down the below in the download link there is an unfurnished version of stone cottage so if you guys want to download this without any of my furnishings go right ahead and you guys can put your own spin on it um, so that will be available to you guys this that's pretty much what it looks like I think I did place this wonderfully woven hanging chair outside before I uploaded it for you guys to download um, but it's in this space and you're going to see when I go back to do the recoloring on the inside and the outside with the decking that um, I've moved it over to the left side of the house. So there's going to be some little changes between the unfurnished version and the furnished version. 
but you've got a base to work with if you want to. And again, if you want to take it all the way back and download Quaint Cottage and put your own spin on it and show me the pictures, I would absolutely love that. I would love to see what you guys did with this disaster that I've created because, ooh, I'm telling you, anything you guys do to Quaint Cottage will be better than what I did when I built it eight years ago. Anyway, we've moved on to the Kishion and I struggled. I struggled a lot of places on the inside of this house and I don't know why I necessarily struggled, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out what cabinets I wanted to use, what colors I wanted to use. When we get to bedroom number two, I think it is, or bedroom number one, the first one that I decorate, couldn't figure out what kind of bed I wanted to use and in fact I laid out one of the bedrooms completely went to the second bedroom and then went back to the first bedroom and then when I go back to recolor you're gonna see that I completely change it again because couldn't make up my mind like this was indecision at its highest level for me like I couldn't believe it when I watched the footage back I was like what is wrong with me and because it took me probably three days overall to um, build this and re redecorate it I had time to think and come back and again say what the plum what the plum were you thinking Erica when you laid this out so I think that's why there's so much change that you're gonna see and I cut out a lot of change to be fair in this entire build now another thing that I want to point out is that I am using quite a bit of store content and um, for the driftwood which was originally the bohemian beach bungalow I used a lot of a lot of custom content now there's no custom content in this whatsoever but there is a lot of store content you've just seen me place down the cookie jar and then also the cookbooks and then there's also the bakery set now that came with a store set called the indulgent the deliciously indulgent bakery I think that's what it's called so the first thing that I want to tell you or I guess is the second thing after the unfurnished version of this house is that I want to give away um a, the I want to give away the deliciously indulgent bakery set to somebody so if you would like that if you don't have that in your game please comment down below and whoever comments that they would like that uh, store set I will go ahead and put your names in a randomizer if there are more than one and I will gift that to the winner I will also need your forum name and um, or the name that you use on the sims 3 store so yes Drop it down below in the comments if you would like that bakery set, if you don't have it in your game because I would love, love to give it away. But anyway, the kitchen is laid out now and we're on the dining room. The dining room isn't that big, but I like how it's kind of an eating kitchen. This kind of makes it really, really cozy and I really like how I laid that out. Now this entryway was massive, so I thought why not put a half bath in the entryway because I love to have half baths in my homes. I don't like it when Sims guests have to go into their main bathroom to use it. I don't know. For some reason, it just makes sense to have a half bath. So again, this isn't going to be in the unfurnished version, but if you want to copy it and put a half bath in your entryway, if you choose to download the unfurnished version, go ahead and do so. And yeah, there's not much else in the entryway besides the half bath. And then I'm going to struggle a little bit with the um, coffee table that I've chosen. So I think I end up putting a, like a single tile coffee table and then also a chair in there because it made a lot more sense. Here I go, kind of changing it out, kind of trying to decide what fits are the best. And so I went with this, I think it's a base game coffee table that I went with there. And uh, now that, the half bath that you've just seen me place down and also the entryway, I don't recolor those on camera because they're, I mean, they are important spaces. Somebody told, somebody mentioned in the comments of the last build where I said that because I don't do the bathrooms on camera, they're not important. All you do is shit, shower and shave. They said, imagine if you couldn't do those things, which I know they're very, very important, but nobody wants to see me recolor on camera. Although saying that the main bathroom I really should have done it on camera, I didn't, um, but I really love how that turned out. So if you download the furnished version, you'll be able to see that for yourself. Anyway, here's the living room. I've placed down the fireplace as you can see, and yeah, there's no way that, that uh, chimney is going to match up with where the chimney is from the outside, but it's totally fine. We'll just do the whole suspension of the belief thing, and you can imagine that there's a the, the chimney there if you want. I don't know or you can put another chimney out there I tried doing that um, and it just didn't look right to me so 
I got rid of it. Now, another thing that I want to say is in the living room, there is store content. That store content is actually from the Grandpa's Grove store set. So again, if you would like a chance to win the Grandpa's Grove store set and you don't have that, please comment down below that you would like that. And if there's more than one person, I will put it in a randomizer and whoever wins, I will gift that set to that person. So this is pretty much the layout of the living room. And then we're going to move on to this bedroom which I struggled with like mad. First I put the bed against that one or that wall and then I'm gonna spin around in a minute and put it on the other wall. And then when we finally go back to recolor, it's gonna go on the other wall. So this bed has touched every flipping wall. Um, but I've got a massive problem with placing large bed frames in front of windows. I don't like things to cover up windows. So, and again, when I came back to it to look at it, it made more sense to be on the wall that didn't have windows. Um, but yeah, I really, really had a tough, tough time with the layout of this bedroom. I don't know what it was. Maybe I wasn't concentrating. Maybe I was listening to something and I just wasn't focused, but it just took me ages to figure out this whole entire thing. Now, I love this bed. I've never used this bed before, but I love it. And I think the reason that I ended up changing it was because it was so low on energy. I think this only gives you four or five energy. So I was really upset about that because I would have loved to use that in this room. And I think it really fits with the whole like cottagey vibe that I was going for. But it was, I just, I don't like my Sims to have bad night's sleeps. So. So I decided to come back and change it, but this is the layout for now. I'm going to place the bed down in here and then I'm going to go, oh no, this was a very, very bad choice. And then I'm going to get rid of this bed and here we are back in this bedroom. So I went with that bed for a bit and then I don't think it had very high energy either. So I went with this bed, which is a very, very cheap bed and I think it came with Showtime, but it has a seven energy level, which I love. I use this bed so many times when I try to stick to a budget, which isn't very often, because we all know that I'm horrible at sticking to budgets. Here's the main bathroom. It looks very plain at the moment, but when you download it, you will see that I really, you'll see that I've put more detail into it and I really, really love that bathroom. I really wish I would have done that on camera, but I, you know, I don't normally do bathrooms on camera. Anyway, we are on to the second bedroom and I've placed, <coughs> Sorry, I completely choked right there. Um, I've placed down that, um, what is it called? A dresser, I've lost my concentration now. Um, I placed down that dresser and it looks awful, but trust me when it's recolored, it looks really, really good. Now I'm placing one of my favorite bookcases. This is from Roaring Heights. So I would like to say if you don't have Roaring Heights, comment down below and I will be giving away a Roaring Heights world to whoever wants it and if there are multiple people again I will place it in a randomizer and then whoever wins wins and I will send that across to you guys so here we are on the outside deck and there's no way to get to like the grassy area but I thought that was okay like I like to sometimes imagine that my sims hop over fences for some reason I know that can't happen but how cool would that be if sims could hop over fences instead of having gates but it didn't make sense to have a gate going down a sloping hill for me so I just you know got rid of it and didn't really worry about it and then we're gonna place my favorite sectional which is from anybody know it's from Aurora skies which is one of my favorite worlds the fridge that I placed down is actually from Aurora skies so I'm going to be giving away a copy of Aurora skies so if you don't have that world and you would like that world comment down below again if there are multiple people that would like that I will place it in a randomizer and whoever comes up first will win so yes I am giving away a copy of Aurora Skies, Roaring Heights, uh, the Grandpa's Grove set, and also the Deliciously Indulgent Bakery set. So comment down below what you would like, what your name is on the forums, and yeah, because I would love to give back to you guys. It's been a while since I've given anything back, and I just want to say thank you so, so much for all of the love and support that you guys have given me over the years i appreciate you i love you guys to the moon and back and you guys just make my plum little heart super duper full so we are recoloring everything on the deck and i really like did things kind of ass backwards for me when i was decorating this house so 
I know I've started laying everything out and then going back and recoloring, but obviously I've laid down this deck and I've recolored it here. And you can see the little landscaping that I've done around the um, corner of the deck. That's basically it for the landscaping out back. And here we are back in the kitchen. And this is how the kitchen stays. I didn't change up the kitchen. It just initially took me ages to figure out what the heck I was doing because I don't know. I'm just an indecisive sloth and we all know this. So I really struggled with the um, fixtures for the kitchen. I couldn't figure out a, a gold that really looked good. So you can see that I've kind of changed the faucet to a gold looking color, but I didn't really like it. So it took me a while, but I got there. Now I don't normally use gray cabinets and they're probably darker than the rest of the house. Cause like I said, I was going for this bright light airy feeling but I really like the gray in contrast with the white that you're gonna see throughout this entire kitchen area but that's the gold that I decided to go for and I really think it works really well and I almost forgot to change the faucet but I got there in the end now my idea for the type of sims that would live here I had roommates in mind to live in this cottage you could have a family living in here you could have um, two adults in the bigger bedroom and you could have uh, like a teenager or a child that has a double bed in the other room. It's totally up to you But my idea was that maybe a baker lives here and then they've got a roommate who's a gardener And it would just work really well and then on the weekends they like to throw barbecues with their friends and That's that's what came to mind and then they can have little dinner parties in the dining area or you could have like an old an old married couple like grandparents live here and they live here with their grandchild it's completely up to you now normally when i have like families and one of the rooms is going to be a master bedroom i'll have a master bathroom with it but there's not a master bathroom this furnished version turns out to be two bedrooms one and a half bath whereas originally quaint cottage that ugly ugly ass thing that I showed you guys that I was so ashamed of um, was one bedroom one bathroom so I've increased the size just a little bit and um, but yeah you guys can play with this how you want and if you play with it if you redecorate it I would love 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 to see what you do with it now we have moved on to the backsplash everything in the kitchen is pretty much colored you can see there are pops of colors pops of like brighter colors throughout but i really wanted to keep the space quite neutral and so i went with this like brick backsplash now probably the most obnoxious wall covering is going to be this in the dining room this is probably the loudest wall co covering in the entire house but i really like it i've been feeling green a lot lately and so I went with that and yeah, it's really loud. It's really in your face But you're gonna see a lot of greens a lot of blues yellows throughout this entire home I was gonna try to change up the wall covering I think I was trying to go with yellow and then I went back to a more neutral color um, so I've taken the stone from outside and put it into the living room that changes because it was really really dark I do tend to like to bring the outside in when I'm decorating But the stone on the inside just didn't look really good at all. So I end up changing it for the um, What I would like to call shiplap and Joanna from oh, it's not flip or flop. Is it flip or flop flip this house? What does that show with Joanna and chip? um I feel like Joanna would be proud of me, whatever that show's called, I can't remember. She'd be proud of me because I use um, a shiplap, which I used in the entryway and also the little hallway between the bedrooms. So I really love the living room. Probably the living room is my favorite area because it's very cozy. You've got the fireplace there and then I put the vintage um, stereo, which is from Supernatural. I really love the stuff that came with Supernatural. I don't like to play with Supernaturals, but using the sort of old old looking things that came with it and recoloring them how you want it, they turn out to be really really cute now originally on the walls I was gonna go with a yellow and then I end up changing it to a very very light blue and here we are back in this bedroom changing things around so it's touched almost every wall that it possibly could um, but this bedroom was massive and I don't know if you remember but originally the computer was out in the living room behind the sofa but I thought this bigger bedroom because there was so much space it could have a computer in here um, so that's what I went with and that's why the the roommate idea kind of 
resonates with me more than having a family live here because in a master bedroom I wouldn't think that you would have a computer but you may do I mean my parents used to have a and um, computer that's where the family computer was actually was in their master bedroom off off of where their bed was they had a little sitting area and that's where the family computer was so I suppose you could but in sort of a space that's open like this I wouldn't think that a master bedroom would have a computer there but that's just my thinking I could be completely wrong but I'm just going through and recoloring everything it's all laid out how it's gonna stay and this kind of cracks me up because I don't know if you remember but I used the same bedspread from quaint cottage in this room except it's a much calmer color it's not that ugly lime green thing that I thought looked good eight years ago I just really don't know what the hell I was thinking but anyway there's not much left to do we're gonna recolor this room and then we're gonna recolor the second bedroom and then I've got a buttload of screenshots at the end of the video for you but I'm gonna go ahead and love you and leave you guys with some music again let me know down below in the comments if you don't have grandpa's grove the bakery set aurora skies or roaring heights I want to give away those to somebody who doesn't have them so comment down below and let me know also let me know what you think of this renovation and again if you decide to take quaint cottage put it in your game and renovate it yourself i would love to see it and i will use some of the screenshots in the next what the plum that i do but anyway you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to do all those cool interweb things like comment and subscribe make sure you've got that bell ding dong so you can notify whenever i do upload but for now i'm gonna skeet skeet skedaddle don't be a pump stranger now, guys.